I didn't see you there. Good morning. Uh, I accidentally pressed the fourth floor too, so I'm gonna stop at the fourth floor for some reason. Hopefully there's somebody on the fourth floor that actually wants to go down to the first floor, but it's unlikely. How's everyone's week going? You guys having a good week so far? It's only Wednesday. Weekend's almost here. It's a good thing. Make sure you do something fun. Get out. Relax. It's needed. Nobody on the fourth floor. Nobody on the fourth floor needs to go down. Tried to help people out. It just didn't work out. <laughs> I should just stop helping people. That's, just, that's the lesson. I kind of want to say, woo! Honey, Chad, look at all that meat. Like a whole ESPN kit. It was like a folding chair for television. What? Like that was nice. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> no. I mean, I might come back for more, but it's still kind of early. Is this fruit, but later again? Yeah. Delicious free food. And that one too. Look at all that chicken. She's so happy. For an interesting reason, which I don't know yet, in terms of the physics, I guess. Um, we can hear the L a lot more clearly on this side, even though we're higher up and further away from it. We're still facing it, kind of. Um, Hiromi says it's because of the curve, so there's like more time uh, for us to be exposed by it. It's, it's interesting, because I wouldn't expect that to be a reason, but it seems like that's what it is, because it's more noisy a little bit on this side. Not terrible. Doing construction across the street anyway, so there's like in the morning it's still kind of like construction workers, you know, cat calling and such, just building things with cat calls. Um, overall, it's nice, and the amount of sunlight in here is bananas, which makes it awesome. So that's something that I definitely appreciate in this apartment. Let's open up those blinds. Am I right? Open up those eyes so these plants can get some sunshine tomorrow morning. Alright. These guys are good. Good to get. You guys got so much sunlight to deal with. Mmm, honey. It was basically a Reuben sandwich. Or corned beef sandwich. Um, that hero we got today. And I'm like really thirsty now. So, that's the thing with salty meats. Salty, oily, kind of heavy things. Gotta drink your water, otherwise you're gonna dehydrate, you're gonna be all wrinkled old California raisin. Did you know that most skin cancers, melanomas, are easily preventable? Just some sunscreen or sunblock. Even just from, not even just like exposing yourself like at a beach for too long, like, you know, with like the tan line. Even just walking outside and being outside for too long over time will start to give it that cancer. You guys gotta wear some sunscreen. Remember that Boz Lerman song? Was it Boz Lerman? It was called the sunscreen song. It was basically just like a bunch of advice. If you haven't seen it, look it up. I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> if I can put a picture of it in the video. Maybe like right here. I probably didn't do anything, but right here maybe. I don't know. Technically I don't need much ice because I'm going to sleep. I just need the water just so I can stay hydrated and not die. Uh, let's go ahead and tap that up right there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I also forgot that we had a ton of wings. Like, a lot of wings. Even more salty foods just to make me more thirsty. Completely forgot about that part. That was nice. That was free. Thanks, AT&T. This is not sponsored or paid by, paid by AT&T. They were just the ones that provided it for us. So, thank you. That's pretty much it for today. Not much else going on. Um, make sure you guys wear a, wear a jacket, you know, inside of this freezer here. T today I left my battery for this camera at work, and then I had to go back to work. And so I wasn't able to film much on this camera during the day, which is when I wanted to. So I was kind of stuck doing errands. I was actually on the phone with uh, Blue Cross, our old insurance provider. I was on the phone holding for about, the first time, I was on there for about an hour and a half. Then the lady just goes, goodbye. I'm like, no, 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 no goodbye. <laughs> Linda. Anyway, called again, tried with different 
you know, uh, set, what is it, different parameters. I said I wasn't a member this time. And then I said I wanted to speak somebody in Spanish. And then, uh, blah, 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 different choices just to see if my wait time differed. It was all either at least an hour or almost an hour and a half. Most were like about the same. I ended up calling again, waiting like about an hour, 25 minutes. Got helped by a really nice girl named Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie at Blue Cross. But still, that's a huge wait time. Is something going on in like the United States with like healthcare or something that I just don't know about? Write it in the comments. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on. I don't know. There's got to be something. You guys have a great night. I love you all. Can't wait to see what illusion you've come up with for us. One of those romantic boy meets girl boy loses girl stories. It's better than that.